आई एम आरोही श्रेया राहुल देश पांडे फ्रॉम ग्रेड एट इनोवेटर्स डिड यू नो वॉट हैपन टू मी लास्ट ईयर आई वॉज एट हॉगवर्ड्स I it was the start of the term feast and I was sitting in the great hall with other first years. It was very beautifully decorated and with floating candles, four long tables and the most beautiful ceiling. Now suddenly I saw a house elf under the table. I started wondering how it had come to be under the table. I was still wondering when I heard my mother's voice saying, "Wake up now or do you want to be late for school?" Then I realized that I had been dreaming all this time. Dreams are wonderful things, aren't they? We can get lost in this world in no time. We dream of different places, things, and events, and these dreams are like a beautiful fantasy. But these dreams can also turn into adventure, fiction, and even nightmares at times. But have you ever wondered why we get dreams? Well, scientists and philosophers have been looking for the answer to this question since the dawn of civilization. but unfortunately they haven't found the perfect answer to this question but they do have a couple of interesting theories so let's hear them out so the first theory given by sigmund freud states that dreams are a way of fulfilling our wishes there are many wishes and desires that come to our mind daily and these some of these also may be unconscious so when you dream we are actually fulfilling the unconscious wishes and desires that may come to our mind daily Second theory is named as the threat simulation and it says that dreams are like a defense mechanism so nightmares put you into dangerous situation allowing us to test your fight or flight response and it may be very helpful in our day to day situations the third theory is activation synthesis and it says that dreams actually don't mean anything so while we are sleeping our body is healing and our brain is reviving the thoughts and memories that we had throughout the day so when we enter the rem stage of the sleep that is the stage of deepest sleep our certain memories and thoughts that we don't want are discarded by the brain and the important ones are reviewed so during this process some thoughts and images get mixed up and we get dreams so these were just a couple of interesting theories that i thought were more important than the others so as technology improves our capability of understanding the human brain there might come a day that we might discover the definitive reason of dreams so till until that day arrives we'll just have to keep on dreaming so keep dreaming and keep questioning thank you